Hey everyone. So as we know, and I, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I've talked a lot about how, you know, I'm a big ball python and boa person, and that's kind of where I'm getting into breeding. But over the past year or two, I've really been getting into colubrids, specifically North American colubrids. So this year I've kind of been on a little bit of a collecting spree of getting different snakes and different colubrids to slowly add to my collection, both for breeding as well as just keeping because I'm super interested in the species. So this video is just going to be a really quick one of just highlighting a couple of the new colubrids that we've gotten this year as of, you know, June 2020. To start things off is this guy. He is absolutely gorgeous. What he is is a Baja Cape gopher snake. So when I say gopher snake, the first thing most people think of are bull snakes, right? Well, they're in the same genus, the Pichuophis, which if you guys, once again, have been watching any of my other videos, know I am absolutely falling in love with these guys. But these guys actually aren't the same species as bulls and most gopher snakes. They are Pichuophis, so it's the genus, but they're entirely different. They're their own species in and of themselves. So these guys are absolutely awesome. Sorry, the rats are going crazy over there on the other, just out of frame. But this guy is super amazing. These guys are known for their very, very bright, bright reds. And he's just going to get more red as he ages. And then it'll eventually turn to the very, very dark black tail. So this guy is absolutely incredible. I love him so much. Although he is kind of funky. With a lot of the time, like with snakes, you'll pick him up. And, you know, they're a little kind of grumpy to begin with. And once you pick him up, they kind of settle down. He has a tendency to get a little bit more stressed the longer I hold him. And we're kind of working on that a little bit. But this guy is amazing, and now I'm going to show you some other really cool stuff. And this guy, who we're going to do this really quick because he's a very grumpy little butthole, we actually got him a lot earlier this year, but he escaped and was out for over a month, and one of the cats found him. But he is found, he's in very good shape, he's eating again, but he is a grumpy, grumpy little blue-eyed, leucistic Texas rat snake. Texas rat snakes can make amazing, amazing pets, and at some point I'll do a species spotlight on them, but he is a grumpy little butthole, uh, and you would not believe the difference in attitude between this guy and our scaleless Texas rat snake that you've seen in a couple other videos. So hopefully you guys can appreciate how nice he looks. See, there he goes. And I'm gonna try not to get bit because like I said before, try not to show biting videos, but we'll move on to the next one. This girl I'm super excited for so earlier this year, we lost our old man Brooks King Snake, uh, Brooksy. We loved him very much, super high-strung Brooks King Snake. But, you know, we got him as an adult. We had him for quite a number of years, and I think he just passed with old age. There wasn't anything else health wrong with him, but we didn't know how old he was to begin with. But this girl we just got, she's still in quarantine, so I don't want to handle her too much, but uh, I do need to keep up with the handling because that'll keep down on her kind of high-strungness. But this is a Ghost Brooks King Snake. So same as Brooksy, who was a hypo. He was a jelly hypo. This girl is hypo and aneurtheristic. So what that means, there's no reds in her. So that's why she's that kind of grayish color. And then she'd even, and she's even a little bit lighter than when she'd be if she was just a straight aneurtheristic because of that hypo in there. So hopefully we're going to be on the lookout for a boy for her. Uh, maybe another hypo, maybe albino, maybe white-sided. We'll see. But I absolutely love Brooks King Snakes, and it kind of broke our hearts when Brooksy finally when Brooksy passed. So we're glad they have this little girl, and it'll be exciting to work with her, starting from just a little little one all the way up to a full-grown giant Brooks King Snake. Last and certainly not least, dream dream snake that we got this year. I know she wasn't on the dream list of reptile video that I made before, but those were kind of like the you know like the Everest of dream reptiles. I have, you know, I'm slowly working on some other ones that are absolutely amazing, some uh, pinnacle species that I am super interested in, that I love their behavior and their looks and everything like that. This is our new female rhinoceros rat snake. So as I said before, I've been super into North American colubrids, but this, I also love Asian rat snakes. So she is now one of two Asian rat snakes that we have here. The other one is the Japanese, uh, Japanese rat snake. Don't mind that little bit of aspen she has on her face. Um, I don't really want to pick it off because number one, rat snakes are pretty reactive. So she'll probably take a pop at me uh, if I do that. But while we're talking about her face, we can see that is why she's called a rhinoceros or a rhino rat snake because that big long thing. 
that is something that they have evolved with to have is a bit of a luring. It looks kind of like a little worm. So they'll stay super, super still with their very nice green camouflage skin and hold very still on branches. And a bird or a rodent or a lizard will come by and try to go for that kind of bright white little tip thing against a little worm or a grub, and then the rat snake will grab it up. Um, rat snakes are super, super cool, and I'm going to do a little video about these guys, uh, those species spotlight that to get a little bit more detail. But either way, super excited to have this little girl here. Amazing dream animal that we got. I love all these fun little new colubrids and everything else that we're getting this year. I'm not going to show every single one that we picked up this year because I've been a little bad uh, picking up quite a few, but that means they're all just in quarantine at the same time. Uh, mostly picking up from pretty good reputable breeders and stuff like that. But... Uh, just really want to show off you guys. I super love these colubrids. I've been getting so into them, you guys. They're absolutely amazing. It's not all just about boas and pythons, although don't get me wrong, I love them too. Amazing, amazing group of animals, colubrids. Asian rat snakes, my gopher, my, my, my rat snake, everything else like that. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments, and I'll check you next time.